Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I am here to provide insight and guidance for Pisces. This is going to be for the month of May 2019. It's so crazy that we're in the month of May right now. Uh, it's just time is just flying by so this is going to apply to your sun of course moon and rising and if you have Pisces and other um, parts of your chart um, it can apply as well um, of course you would need to uh, do a little digging in regards to your birth chart uh, use the birth chart calculator uh, to see what influences you have so let's get started so I'm going to do uh, the general messages the energies for the month and then I'll pull an additional card to dip deep in the reading and then I'll pull another card that's going to be your action going forward so take whatever resonates for you okay whatever resonates and leave what doesn't okay um, I do like to hear feedback um, in regards to the readings and how it resonates but if it does not apply to you you don't have to uh, <laughs> leave a message that's crazy okay it's not gonna apply to all Pisces and that's okay um, of course when um, as readers when we do readings online these are general um, energies general messages okay so if you would like to have a personal reading of course it will be more accurate okay for some of you who do not understand that okay so energy and messages for Pisces for the month of May 2019 what does Pisces need to know for the month of May 2019? Pisces, Pisces. Energy and messages for Pisces for the month of May 2019. What does Pisces need to be aware of? What do they need to know? Energy and messages for the month of May 2019 for Pisces. Okay. I'm going to just do six cards. Okay, so, and also I'm covering readings for uh, the zodiac signs who have the most um, views. And I believe uh, Pisces, you guys had 91, okay? So under 100, but still good, okay? So let's get started. So what we have here, we have the Nine of Swords, we have Ten of Swords, and we have the Lover's Card. We also have the Eight of Swords, we have the Five of Cups in reverse, and we have the Queen of Swords, okay? So Pisces, for the month of May, it appears that you are having some restless nights. Um, I'm also hearing anxiety. You may be having some anxiety in regards to, it could be a relationship, it could be regards to work, finances, it really could be anything, um, but you're finding that you're staying up late at night because you're worry, worrying a lot. Um, this can also represent that you're staying up late at night and you're just fooling around and just, you know, just staying up late at night. <laughs> so maybe a call for you to get your sleep back in order, okay, if you've been worrying a lot. Um, but I just see here that this is like night terrors. This is just fearing for the worst, worrying constantly. And so, um, and it has something to do with security because I'm looking at this, it's like a security blanket here, okay? So it has something to do with security. So you're really concerned about security. You may have a project that's coming up or um, maybe um, embarking on a new journey and you're very worried about maybe the small details or worried or concerned about um, certain things maybe not working out, okay? But I'm hearing that... Um, you can get yourself out of this mess, okay? Um, it's a lot of energy that you're holding on to because we have this Ten of Wands here, okay? So you are holding on to a lot of this energy or this could just represent that you have a lot on your plate, you have a lot on your back and you're just doing your best to hold everything together. You're, it's like you're barely making it, okay? And it's the energy of that. Um... What I'm hearing is that um, despite what you're going through, despite what you're worrying about, 
it's important that you continue to push forward and persevere because the 10 represents ending. So there's going to be an ending to all of this worry and all of this concern that you are having. And like I said, it could be in regards to anything, work, career, relationship, it could be in regards to anything. But I see that um, an ending is, is near, okay? So despite what's going on uh, cognitively or mentally with you, um, you're going to get past this. You just have to continue to push forward or you're going to have to lighten the load. So if you're carrying a lot of um, burden or carrying a lot on your plate, it may be a call for you to ask for help or lighten the load. Um, so for some of you, I'm seeing here the lover's card next, okay? And the lover's card, of course, it talks about the lovers. It talks about a relationship. It talks about options. Um, it talks about um, just ha having your heart and mind aligned, okay? And just to go back, so you could be dealing with an air sign person, Gemini, okay? So we have Gemini as the lovers and... Um, yeah, Gemini represents the lovers. You could be dealing with Aquarius or Libra as well because we have an air sign card here, okay? So you could be dealing with an air sign person or you could have air in your chart, okay? Or somebody with this air energy. You also could be dealing with a fire sign person, um, a Leo, Sagittarius, or, or Aries, okay? Or you could have this in your chart as well, as well as, uh, as the Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini or, a, or have this energy, but either way. I hate having to explain this every time, but <laughs> so um, I'm seeing here that you may have been very concerned about a relationship, about a union, a soulmate connection, but uh, things are going to get better. OK, and it's going to get better either if you it's going to get better by you dropping this person or you working things out with this person. It can really go either way because the lover's card represents having options, okay? So it, it definitely could represent that you're very um, burdened by your relationship. Maybe you have a lot on your plate. Maybe you're picking up a lot of the weight in your, in your relationship and you don't have help from your partner. Maybe your partner's not really active um, in the relationship as far as, you know, um, you know, being a support system, so you may feel that way, okay? Um, but I definitely see here with this lover's card, um, you know, th there is going to be a solution. There's going to be a solution to this burdensome and worrisome energy, and you're, you're definitely going to come up with a solution. And a solution could just be making peace, okay? It can just be making peace with this person or just being done with the person. It, it, really, it, it really depends, okay? Um, and it can go either way, basically. So I have the Eight of Swords here, okay? You have the Eight of Swords here. And so this is about being mentally stuck. So you go you go from being complete, having a lot of anxiety and worry to having somewhat of some harmony and then you're back at this again, this Eight of Swords. So it's this card is a representation of just having limited beliefs. Um, this is my Ju Jupiter and Gemini card, okay? So it's definitely um, a call for you, Pisces, to really expand your mind and get out of whatever funk that you're in. Yes, it may not be, it may be easier said than done, but um, it's definitely a call for you to get out of this type of vibration. Um, this could be a person that you're, oops, this could be a person that you're actually dealing with and this person is always stuck in their mind. They're constantly worrying about this, worrying about that, kind of have tunnel vision, refusing to see the big picture, um, refusing to see what is reality. It could just be the other person you're dealing with that has this vibration, which leads you to having this anxiety, which leads you to um, uh, not feeling secure in your relationship or in your environment, okay? Because of this person being kind of stuck in their ways and um, just refusing to see, refusing to see the big picture. If this is not the uh, if this is not the other person, this could represent you um, being in this um, mental anguish, okay? This self sabotaging um, energy. So it's really important for you to release yourself from this um, energy if this is you. If it's the other person and maybe instead of being up late at night and worrying 
constantly because this person refuses to see. It may be a call for you to open up the lines of communication and express to this person that, you know, the way you're doing things, uh, the way things are going, it's no longer serving this relationship or it's, it's, it's not making me happy. It can, it can go either way. I mean, this could be in regards to, you know, a colleague, you know, maybe a colleague is giving you some some hell basically because they're refusing to see the big picture. It really could go either way, okay? But it's really a call to um, step out of this vibration, this Eight of Swords vibration, and really expand the mind and see the bigger picture. Because this Eight of Swords is not seeing the big picture at all. She can take off this um, blindfold, and these ropes are not even tight on her. So she can easily wiggle herself out of this and set herself free, okay? This person also feels like, um, could also feel that their security is somewhat threatened as well. Okay, and so they're stuck in that vibration like, oh my God, nothing's going to get better. You know, I'm not going to be able to make it out of this. They're just constantly going in a cycle. Okay, and they're refusing to expand their mind and to open their mind to get out of this vibration. Yes, you, once, once we open our mind, we start to see things change around us. But once we stay in this vibration, it can definitely um, hinder us and it can cause us to be up late at night and constantly worrying instead of uh, trying to figure out a actual solution. Okay. So we have the five of cups in reverse. Okay. So I feel for, for you, um, Pisces, I feel like you're going to be breaking out of this vibration. If this is not you breaking out of this vibration, uh, and, and let me just say, this could be a water sign person you're dealing with, or this could represent you. So Pisces, uh, Cancer, or Scorpio, okay? So um, I see that you're breaking out of this vibration of loss, okay? Um, if this is not the case, it could be that you are constantly in this vibration of lack and loss and therefore you have all of this burdensome energy on you and you, you're, you're struggling to hold everything together because you're in a vibration of loss and lack constantly you're not moving from that but if that's not the case it's just showing that you are breaking um uh, moving past this vibration of loss and lack and crying over spilled milk you're moving past this okay um this is definitely a good sign, I mean, in a reversal. So, um, and this is also saying here too, um, going back to the mindset, going back to the Eight of Swords, you know, you may be in a vibration or a mindset of lack and loss, and you just don't know how to get out of that, okay? And having this Queen of uh, Machetes or Queen of Swords here as the last card. Like I said, you could be dealing with the air sign person, Libra, uh, Gemini, or Aquarius. So you could have this energy, okay? And, and it doesn't have to be, just be a woman. It can be a man as well, okay? This this Queen of Machetes, a Queen of Swords, is here to cut the bullshit out. She's here to um, restore harmony, okay? She gives you a, a, a couple of chances and then third strike you're out okay so she's here to cut the bs out so pisces this this card is for you this card is basically saying that you need to release or cut away what no longer serves you and cutting away it could be cutting away all of the burden all 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 the um negativity that you're carrying around you it could represent that that you need to cut this from your life because it no longer serves you also these wands here can represent other people's shit okay and you guys being a pisces uh, and a water sign you guys pick up on other people's energies as well so you could be carrying um and i'm hearing ancestral um, um patterns okay you could be carrying that with you so it's a call for you to release that to let go of these ancestral patterns that are no longer serving you or release other people's energies and negativity that you are carrying uh, carrying on your back okay um and this and also um vibrate on clarity this is a sense of clarity the queen of machetes is having clarity it's being very clear it's being decisive and it's not playing any games. So Pisces, for the month of May, it's important that you don't play any more games. Whatever has been bothering you, whatever has been in, out of balance in your life, it's a call to be decisive, to be clear with your intentions, and be honest with yourself about what is no longer serving you. If you have been on this um, pattern of 
like maybe negativity or um, obsessiveness or you know addiction and addiction does not have to just be to substances it can be addictions to food it can be addic addictions to um, certain emotions just being um, like Debbie Downer all the time it's just addictive behaviors addictive behaviors across the board okay this queen of machetes is here to cut out the addictive behaviors whatever it could be it could be a person that has addictive behaviors and they're causing you stress okay and they're causing you anxiety okay and so it's time to put your foot down and it's time to say no more I'm not putting up with this shit anymore I'm I'm going to have the harmony in my life and I'm going to have the balance in my life uh, and you're not going to get in, in the way of it okay uh, you're not going to get in the way of it at all okay so it's definitely a call for you to put your foot down all right let's just see how I'm doing with time um, oh, damn. Way over. So this is going to be a kind of a long reading. Um, so I'm just going to stop the timer. So, um, I mean, overall, you know, it's, it's, it's challenging for me. It is challenging, but you can overcome this as long as you, uh, maintain clarity and a peace of mind okay um, it really all starts in your mind Pisces no, no matter what you're going through no matter what's going on in your surroundings it starts from the mind it's mind over matter okay so sometimes if things were to go left or go south you know it's easy to get upset it's easy to um, feel burdensome it's easy to um, get trapped in your mind of the worst case scenarios it's easy to be up late at night and and worrying and concerned it's easy for that shit but it's it's really important that you understand you know what this situation has happened to me but i'm not going to allow it to eat me alive i will not allow it to eat me alive i'm going to find a way i'm going to find a solution to this problem and that the key word is solution is about finding a solution to your problems and and, and what and a solution to whatever challenges you are going through this queen of machetes is here to overcome any obstacles okay nothing is forever okay so um for some of you i definitely see that you're going to get out of this vibration of feeling lost and sad um and and um I'm hearing disturbed. <laughs> so I see uh, for, for some of you, you're going to be getting out of this vibration, okay? You're going to be getting out of this vibration. Um, uh, what else am I seeing here? I think that's pretty much it. Um... see I'm trying I'm, I'm picking up something from this five of cups reversed um, yeah so let go of it. and some of you Pisces you have a lot of emotional baggage that you have to deal with and you have to deal with and release okay because we have the five of cups in reverse and it's really about releasing it's a, a sense of release it's letting it go because if you're not gonna let this go this emotional baggage you're gonna be just like this this ten of wands trying to hold shit together you're not mobile you're not moving usually the ten of wands excuse me the ten of wands usually is someone walking up a hill with a whole bunch of wands on his back but this person's not even moving he's just stuck on the ground he's just sitting there so if you don't release release these stagnant emotions um or you know it could be a person that you're dealing with or it could be uh behaviors if you don't release this you it's going to leave you immobile and you're going to be stuck trying to hold whatever you have together you're not going to be moving you're going to be stuck okay you're not going to be um you're going to be immobile all right So, I mean, but for the most part, I mean, you guys can overcome this. You guys really can. And sometimes um, when we're in a situation, it feels like we're we're barely making it. But you just have to continue to persevere and move forward and align your heart and your mind. Um, also, be around people that um, are motivational to you. You know, you may have a Gemini person or an air sign, another air sign person that uh, could definitely offer you a peace of mind. Okay, an encouragement. Okay, and this is somebody that's a soulmate to you. Okay. Okay, so um, let's deepen the reading. Additional message for Pisces for the month of May 
2019. Additional message for Pisces for the month of May. Oop, that came out. I'll just take that. Okay, so we have adventure. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it. So we have adventure. Okay, so the card adventure. So the doors are opening for you, Pisces, and you're going on an adventure. An adventure, I mean, I'm not saying you're going on an adventure like you're going to Italy or, or Rome, but some of you may be. You know, you may be going on a nice vacation or getting ready to embark on a new adventure. So a new beginning is ahead of you, Pisces, okay? And your the doors are opening for you and the moon is full. So despite what you are going through, Okay, that you know you're you're going to get past whatever it is that you you've been going through. Okay, so just understand that, and this adventure that you're going through uh, going on is going to um, mature you. It's going to give you a sense of clarity and an understanding, and it's going to make you feel as, as though you are at peace. Okay, so every adventure is not smooth sailing. Sometimes we have bumps in the road. Sometimes we have um, you know all types of challenges or obstacles themselves but it's an adventure it's an it's a journey you know what I mean so we experience a lot of things but you just have to understand yes I'm on an adventure I'm on a journey and what's ahead of me is going to be a new beginning and and basically a peace of mind you just have to tell yourself that because I see it here for you Pisces I definitely see it here for you okay some of you are are moving as well you know so you may be worried about moving and what's the details and all of that, relocating, changing jobs, it really could be anything but a, a, an adventure is ahead of you and it's really positive. You know, you're on a journey and journeys are not, <laughs> journeys are not always peaceful and happy if <laughs> they aren't. But if you, once you realize that, once you realize that and, and are real with yourself about this and you are aware that, you know, what, life is not a bed of roses. Once you realize that everything else is smooth sailing, it's going to be hard for you to get in this vibration. It's going to be hard for you to get in this vibration once you realize that, you know, life's not perfect, but I'm going to overcome it. OK, so what's the action going forward for Pisces for the month of May? Action going forward for Pisces. Action going forward for Pisces for the month of May 2019. Wow. We have indecision. Indecision. This card here, Eight of Swords, can definitely represent indecision. Okay. Stuck in your mind, not knowing what to do. Okay. So it says indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So Pisces, it's a call for you to use your intuition. And we have the red here, which the red is represented represents the root chakra. It's about being grounded. It's about um, having security, feeling secure. And a lot of red had came up in these cards with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords and then the Eight of Swords. Okay, so um, it's really a call for you to for you to use your intuition. Yes, you are on an adventure, but trust that you are able to um, guide yourself in the right direction. Trust that you are divinely guided as well. Use your intuition. If something doesn't seem right to you and something seems off to you, it's for a reason. Your intuition is trying to speak to you. And there's a difference between having fear and using your intuition, okay? So... Do your best not to be indecisive. If you have, we're human, we're, we do become indecisive sometimes, but try your best not to rest in this energy. And there's purple around here too. So it's representing the crown chakra and the third eye chakra, okay? So for some of you, you're definitely gonna be getting spiritual downloads. And the lover's card also represents guardian angels as well. It's about being divinely guided also, okay? So uh, definitely trust this and, and trust your intuition um, during this month, okay? Your intuition is is um, is a, a powerful thing, okay? It's a powerful thing, all right? So that's going to conclude the reading for Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, got, I was a little bit over it. Oh, well. <laughs> um, if you would like to book a reading with me, feel free to do so. My email is going to be in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. And God bless.